Hey, everybody. It's Friday, August 13th, 2021. Oh, wow. It's Friday the 13th. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's everybody stay safe. Yeah. Friday the 13th. I just realized that. Anyway, want to check out this story. I'm also going to feature uh, a little surprise for you at the end. Okay. So let's check this out. I get the feeling this guy, he's probably been to jail before. Uh, you can see by the title, Fair Use, the police chase handcuffed man on a stolen four-wheeler. This dude is handcuffed. I mean, talk about his driving skills. I got to give him a few props for that. Okay. So I guess they were trying to um, arrest him. He broke free, saw a four-wheeler. Man, I think he saw that four-wheeler and he saw freedom. Okay. So let's check out the video. Fair use. Way from Northeast Oklahoma City all the way to Logan County. And tonight we're hearing what led to that wild ride that turned into a mudslide. News Force Jacqueline Chapel has the new information. Wow. Viewers got a bird's eye view of the chase right here from Chopper 4, but today police are telling us why the man behind the wheel of that ATV is wanted for much more than stealing a four wheeler. I can tell you that this guy possibly has one handcuff on one of his hands. I believe they had him in custody at one time. A Jones officer was transporting a prisoner to the Oklahoma County Detention Center on charges of grand larceny. It's basically suspicion of stealing catalytic converters and copper wire and things like that. Jones police say this man, now identified as Lucas Strider, got the door of a patrol unit open, escaping into the woods. Wow. Then later spotted here in Edmond. And then police releasing dash and body cam footage of the start of their pursuit. We're at Edmund Road Center for he's cutting through the parking lot of the chase here. And a mile up, cutting through oncoming traffic and into a bank parking lot and then behind a church. Yeah, he's made it to another that can drive my car right now. We lost him for a little bit, ended up picking wow. him back up, and the pursuit continued. It went into Oklahoma City's jurisdiction, back into Edmond. Uh, ultimately, we ended up in Logan County outside of our jurisdiction. Chopper 4 following closely along as Strider led police mm. north to Logan County. The ATV reaching speeds over 70 miles per hour Dang. with police using tactics Ooh. forcing him into the mud. Oh, nice, nice. Strider wiping out, lying mm. face down in the dirt and mud. <clears throat> Get on the car! Surrendering to police and back into custody. Jacqueline Chapel, Oklahoma's News 4. Yep. And oh man, Edmund Police say Strider will also be facing out of custody charges for eluding police. So, Lucas Strider, this story here, it reminds me of something of a person that I knew. Uh, she had a boyfriend, and he was on the same as Lucas, uh, Lucas Strider. Uh, she met him in a trailer park. And it was like, you know, girl, you, this is not going to work. So what happened, she had a, had a gathering and invited him over. He Now, he lived with his mother and he had a daughter. She had a gathering, <clears throat> invited him over. And when the party was over, he was gone and the keys to her vehicle was gone. And she's like, Where's my vehicle? The key, the keys are gone. Look outside. The vehicle's gone. He's gone. The vehicle's gone. So basically what he did when he came to the party at the invite, he didn't have a, a vehicle. I think he had a motorcycle. So he, uh, and then she checked also some money was missing out of her purse. So now we got the keys gone. Some money out of her purse is gone and he's gone. So she's like, uh oh, and she's really frantic. She did call the police. Now, they, they were in a relationship. So the police did get involved and they found the vehicle. He left him on a little speed chase and he drove out into the woods. <clears throat> I'm like, girl, what the hell? Drove out into the woods. And she said, yeah, he drove out into the woods and then he abandoned the vehicle, took off on foot. There is a method to his madness. When he drove out into the woods and took off on foot, he knew those woods real well, and he then let the police on a chase. Well, he was skinny as a beanpole. I mean, skinny. He was very skinny. 
and I'm detecting some other things that's probably going on with them, you know, drug related. That's, that's my opinion. He was real skinny. Old boy ran into the woods. And then she said the police looked for him and looked for him and they couldn't find him. So after a while, they gave up. They called her. She was able to get her vehicle back. And she hadn't heard from him for a couple of days. And so when she did hear from him, she asked him like, what the heck would you do? Well, it turns off, he took her vehicle and some cash out. And with one of the girls at the party, he uh, went and got some beer. And I guess he and the girl were in the in her car partying, you know, sitting up radio for him. You know, the girl's in the car with him, uh, her money, and she paid for, you know, he used her money to buy the beer. So he and the girl sitting up in the car, music on and, you know, whatever. I guess they're entertaining each other. So he dropped the girl off. So then later on, he still had the vehicle. He said he was going to bring it back. Cause he was like, what'd you call the police for? You know, I was going to bring it back. And she was like, listen, it's a house full of people here. And all I know is my car is gone. So what do you expect me to do? I didn't know you had the vehicle, but in the back of her mind, I think later on, she was like, yeah, I kind of thought so. So she's like, so he's telling her, he said, yeah, when the police came, cause he already had some warrants out. And this was interesting. Uh, this is how she found out what kind of guy he was when she called the police and gave his name. The police already knew him. The police already knew him. They even told her, yeah, they knew him from living in a trailer park with his mother. Cause she wanted a boyfriend, I guess kind of, you know, so bad, but she liked that kind of guy. She liked that street motorcycle guy. And when she met him, he didn't have a job, but she had a career going for herself. So, you know, she wasn't worried about it. So yeah, the police already knew him. So she was like, why did you go into the woods? And guess what he told her? He knew his way around the woods. And he said, when he abandoned that vehicle, he ran to a certain part of the woods, lost the police. He said he actually climbed up into a tree and waited for hours. I couldn't believe it. She's like, so you hit up in the tree? She said, yeah. He climbed up in the tree and she waited for hours, waited for hours in that tree. I was shocked. I was like, how did he get up in the tree? Was he climbing like a gator or like a little monkey? But he got up in the tree. So that right there, yeah, he had a one out for his rest. So he already knew when they came, yo, he already knew he was going to be going to jail. This right here. So this guy here, he was handcuffed. He escaped and was on that four-wheeler. I think that four-wheeler for him, it definitely, definitely recognized freedom. And he's still in the catalytic converter. Still in those catalytic converters, that seems to be a very um, a common thing, even in the inner city. There have been news reports across the nation in different apartment complexes. And I think what it is, they'll have these crews in these apartment complexes because, number one, you've got, hello, it's an apartment complex. you got various vehicles. So guess what? You've got these crews that will come in, and they will either, A, take the rims off these cars and also get the catalytic converters. So because it's happening and it's being reported, one complex said they had like between uh, seven and one night. And then one said they had 14 in one month of people complaining saying, hey, I come out, the catalytic converter is gone. Or you, you come out, man, you're sitting on blocks. So again, if this is happening while we have a moratorium, and millions are being saved from the eviction. Imagine when the moratorium is over. Imagine when the moratorium is over. We are, people are getting evicted now. We already know that. But when the moratorium is over and you have millions of people being evicted, which we just cannot have that, you think it's crazy now? It's a lot of crime going on. This is just a touch of the iceberg. And this is my opinion. Just a touch. You think carjackings now? You think that you think this at an all time high now? I hate to say it. Murder rate. Anybody wearing jewelry or gold chain? All I can say to you is, the morning you step out your door or night with your gold chain on, guess what? Be prepared for that to be the last time you see it. People are snatching gold chains in the daytime, probably because it's a quick item that you can sell really quick. That's what I'm starting to think. So stop and think. At nighttime, going out. Hey, if they're snatching them in the daytime, imagine at nighttime. So if you want to wear some nice jewelry or your gold chain, all I got to say is, as you put them around your neck, just stop and think. This could be the last time you're going to see it. It's not worth it. Just, just I would say, any kind of nice gold chain, please put on pause. So, <clears throat> given this here, this young man here on the ATV, um, I have a nice little 
homemade, I guess I'm going to call it, maybe you could say jingle wrap, but I've got a nice little jingle just for your boy, Eric Strider. <clears throat> Here we go. And of course, I do this for fun. I mean, you know, I must say I am an adult, but I grew up where it was very structured, okay? So as I got older, you know, I kind of unleashed the silliness in me. <clears throat> and here we go. <laughs> hey, your boy G's a writer. He goes by the name of Lucas Strider. Yeah, he's riding wild white. Looks like the little brother going to jail tonight. Man, this crap is so insane. But if you get caught up, don't mention my name. Yeah, you heard it on Simply Said. Man, this is so jacked up. I gotta put it to bed. Yeah, Lucas Strider. This dude has proven to be on a four wheeler. He's a hell of a rider. Gonna spend a little night in jail. I wonder who's gonna come and make that bell. Simply said, it's so jacked up, I gotta put it to bed. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for listening, folks. Okay, just a little humor for the day. Happy Friday, and please stay safe. I am out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. Stay safe.